Hi everyone, welcome to ATEN's tutorial channel. A while ago, a customer asked me about how to input a command and control a target device. And today, I would like to demonstrate how to do this on the web page. First, but of course, we need to log in on the web page on VP3520. And this is the web page we see. Now go to the tab here and uh, look down the function key, click on it. For this video, I use function 1 and 2. And I use a RS232 connection for the target device. So let's look into the command. This command is to switch the video content from 1 to 2. So I put a name on it, the content 2, and we choose ASCII code. This is the command. For the command, of course, you need to uh, refer to the user manual on the target device. And the command is SW space I02. Scroll down a little bit. Remember to click on save. And then, don't forget, this is just a command. We we'll need to put a second command, which is the enter. The so the enter right here is backward slash R, backward slash N. And the same thing, let's click save. And now we've done the commands on uh, function key one. Let's do, uh, technically they're the same, so we just need to repeat the same command. Uh, we did a little bit changes on the command on uh, function key two. So here we put the content one, ASCII code again. As the command is SW space I01. And click save. Now we've done the commands and click on apply. To control the target device, uh, actually uh, we can do this on the web GUI. Click on function key one, click once, and function key two. The other way to control the target device is use the front panel function key. Remember we uh, had the setup in the web GUI and that refers to the front panel function key. Let's press on function key one and you can see the port has been switched to and we can switch back and forth. Isn't it easy? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe. Bye-bye now.